The Filpi, Italian Wrestling, Judo and Weightlifting Federation is very happy to propose to you a new system to organize the most important weightlifting event on two platforms, one for men and the other for women. The results I made at are to make the competition more interesting for the media and the public, to shorten the competition times, to dramatically reduce the cost for the participants. The Filpi, Italian Weightlifting Federation, has already experimented with this new and modern system to interpret weightlifting. Since 1990, all the main Italian competitions have been organized on two platforms, and in 1992, the first official international competition, the AAC Championships, was also successfully held. Father to all this experience, the Filpi has suggested for the first time that the European Championships should be organized on two platforms, on occasion of the 20th Junior and 7th Senior Women European Weightlifting Championships, held in Rome from the 6th to the 9th of October 1994. Mr. Matteo Pellicone, the president of the Italian Weightlifting Federation, and Mr. Wally Holland, the president of the European Weightlifting Federation, officially opened this particular edition of the championships. A big stand of 12 meters for 24 meters with two platforms was set up and the lifters, both men and women, were called to compete simultaneously. There was only one jury and one speaker calling the lifters both onto the men's and the women's platform. However, this new system implies double equipment, two competition scoreboards, two electronic weightlifting clocks, two electronic scoreboards with repeaters in the warming up room and two referees electronic systems. A big number of lifters competed in these championships, not less than 230, which sets an absolute record in an European Championships, exceeding the previous edition of 1993 of more than 16%. Moreover, this revolutionary organization has made it possible to reduce the competition to four days, at the same time avoiding exhausting timetables. 
The first session of the competition started at 10 in the morning and ended at about 12.30. In the afternoon, two more sections took place. One started at 3 p.m. and the other at 5.30 p.m. to be finished, including victory ceremonies, at about 8 p.m. On the third day of the competition, for example, thanks to this system, 66 lifters, 40 men and 26 women belonging to four categories and divided into six competition groups were able to compete. Timetables were respected and the competition lasted only 6 hours and 15 minutes, victory ceremonies included. The great advantage of the system was undoubtedly the almost complete suppression of the dead time, which always has been a serious handicap to the spectacularity of our sport. This competition is on the contrary quicker and it always offers something interesting taking place on the stand. Some problems, however, had to be solved to reach these brilliant results. The main worry was to safeguard the natural itself of weightlifting competitions. This sport is completely different from all the others in the fact that the almost religious attention of all the audience is turned to the lift. And the lifter, both the champion and the modest competitor, becomes, even for a few seconds, the absolute protagonist of the event. The first problem to be solved was, therefore, to keep this characteristic of the sport and, consequently, to avoid the simultaneous lift of two athletes on the stand. This was solved placing two small red and green lights in front of the platforms. The lights were synchronized in such a way that when the green light was on on one platform, the red light was on on the other one, and vice versa. The system was operated by the speaker who turned on the two lights in turns. The lifter, who saw his light was red, has got to wait for it to turn to green before lifting. <laughs> However, 
In order to guarantee a suitable concentration period, the clock was stopped on condition that the cold lifter had already got onto the stand. When the light became green, the clock went on and the athlete was able to lift. successfully experimented device to make competition more spectacular was to load the women's bar only with 10 kilograms rubber discs. In this way, also the women's bar was loaded with two or three discs on each side and looked as the men's one on the other platform. Equipment was obviously doubled also in the warming up room. Two repeaters of the electronic scoreboard and two clocks were placed on the wall, and 12 platforms with 12 barbells were prepared for the lifters to use. Another problem to solve was the weight of the barbell between the first and the second attempt. Since most athletes lift at least 5 kilograms between the first and the second attempt, Computers were programmed with 5 kilograms increase in order to reduce the jumps to the minimum number. However, in order to ensure the possibility to perform a lift of 2.5 kilograms more between the first and the second attempt, as the IWF technical rules provided for, this lift should be asked for as a jump by the athlete concerned immediately after his first lift. Price giving was also a problem related to the fact that it takes long times and it's quite repetitive. The victory's ceremony procedure was thus modified to reduce times and take them easier to be understood by the public. All the medal winners go onto the stand simultaneously. The anthem and the rising flag ceremony were performed only for the Olympic total. All these innovations, which were necessary to quicken the competitions and were related to the IWF technical rules, had been written down, discussed and approved by all the countries attending the championships during the technical meeting preceding them.